Now the first thing I want to do is from iter tools import star. Now I want to cycle through something two times. The letters A B C D E. So I'm going to assign a variable A equals cycle. I want to cycle through this A B C D E two times. Now I'm going to assign J is equal to zero. A is an iterable. So I can iterate through it with a for loop. For I in A colon print I. Now, if I just leave it like that, I'm in trouble. This thing will iterate forever. A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, keeps, keeps going. So, I'm going to key in J plus equals 1. Now, if J equals 10, then I've iterated through this thing two times. Oops, it'd be nice if I keyed that in the right way. If j equal equal, if j equal equal 10, call up, then 1, 2, 3, 4, two things, j equals 0, and break. And there we go. A, B, C, D, E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C, D, E, 10. It worked. Okay, let's do another one for me to toss. I'm going to create the variable b. B is equal to repeat the number 100. I want you to do that five times. Now I've key in B and hit enter. Those are the instructions to repeat five times. The only way I can see that is with an iteration because B is an iterable. So for X in B, column, print X. And there it is, one, two, three, four, five. Five times. Now the, the next cool function from meta tools is this. I'm gonna have a return variable here, an iteration. I'm gonna tell it to use the compress function, the compress method. I want you to take these characters V four I four and C and it's got those numbers in there. Oh no, I wanna get rid of those numbers. I want to keep the V, lose the 4, keep the I, lose the other 4, and keep the, oops, lose the other 4, and keep the C. Let's check that. V, 1, 4, 0, I, 1, 4, 0, C, 1. That's good. Well, I started another idle session. Because the other idle session died. So I import the iterator tools and issue the compress command again. Yes, I want to key in for x in a colon print x. And I should get vic. And I do. V I C. So one means keep that letter in that position. But the second position is zero. Don't keep it. Third position, keep it. Next position, lose it. Next position, keep it. So I killed the two numbers, four, and I get Vic. Okay, let's do one more and stop. We'll call the drop while method. I'm going to make a lambda function here. Drop x while x is less than seven. That's a good condition. Now, the data you'll work on is this. One, two, now nine. And then I'll go back to under seven. One, three, four. Watch what happens. Very surprising. Yeah, at least it was surprising to me. This is what it's going to do. It's going to go through here and it says, drop the following in this lambda function. Drop the x while x is less than seven. So it jumps to the first one. Is 1 less than 7? Yes. Boom. Dropped. Is 2 less than 7? Yes. Boom. Dropped. Is 9 less than 7? No. Okay, that's it. Now it prints this and everything else to the right. Totally ignores the condition, though. No. That's it. Condition stuff is over. Prints everything out. No more dropping. Okay, let's do it. And now for X and A. 
because it's endurable. Let's go through this. Oh, look what we get. 9134. Just like we said. Hmm. Huh. What do you know? And this is George Wall. I hope this was useful to you. Please rate the video by clicking on the like button. I'd appreciate that. And good luck.